Hey there guys, so some more news has been trickling through about Dylan White and his proposed failed drug test and hearing with UCAD and the British Boxing Board of Control. Now obviously Dylan White was cleared to fight and he did not fail a VADA test, it was a UCAD test. So UCAD and the British Boxing Board of Control can ban Dylan White, but VADA have had no failed drugs test from Dylan White. Yet the WBC have suspended Dylan White and removed him as interim WBC world champion, even though they use VADA testing, not UCAT testing. So no rules were broken in the eyes of the WBC because he passed all of his VADA tests. So effectively, the WBC shouldn't really be suspending or banning Dylan White or taking any action in any way, shape or form because the drug agency that they use didn't report any problems with Dylan White with any A samples or B samples from Dylan White's drugs test. And that is what Eddie Hearn has expressed in a recent interview. Eddie Hearn said, quote, He is not banned by UCAD. He is not banned by the British Boxing Board of Control. Yet you want to ban him. Do me a favour. So the WBC, according to Eddie Hearn, never wanted Dylan White as mandatory. And they are seeking any excuse they can to remove him as their mandatory and interim WBC world champion. And to be honest, they have no right to ban Dylan White or suspend him as champion or remove him as mandatory because they have no evidence. No evidence has been put forward to them. I'd say it's fair enough asking Dylan White to prove evidence and bring information forward so that he can make a case to the WBC that he is a clean fighter and not a drug cheat. Fair enough. But don't ban him and suspend him before that happens because they have already taken action before they know the full picture, before they know exactly what is going on. I mean, it's like hanging someone before the trial. That is what the WBC have done here. Now, previously, I thought it was a good idea for them to ask Dylan White to bring forward information and make a case. Fair enough. But they should not ban him and suspend him before that is made. There is no reason why they should. They have no information on the matter. They do not recognise UCAD. They recognise VADA. So if VADA tests all come back clear, then how can they suspend Dylan White? Because the only information that the WBC have on the subject is an article on Boxing Scene that they have read and then taken action from there. So I don't really understand what they are trying to do or what they are trying to get away with, whether they don't want Dylan White as mandatory or whether they are protecting Deontay Wilder again. Hmm, that strikes a chord, doesn't it? Effectively, the WBC don't have any right to take action in this manner because, as I said, and as Eddie Hearn said, the British Boxing Board of Control and UCAD are the ones who had the failed drugs test. They are the ones who have the opportunity and the right to ban Dylan White if they want to. But Dylan White was allowed to fight. Why was he allowed to fight? Because he's a clean fighter. How can you be allowed to go into the ring on whatever it is, Diana Bowl or whatever they're saying he is on, which is probably a load of rubbish anyway, but how can he be allowed to enter the ring if he is on something like that? Why would they clear him? Why would they let him fight? Especially after all what boxing has been through in the past couple of weeks, why would they let him go into the ring? Because he's a clean fighter. Because they didn't find sufficient evidence to ban or suspend Dylan White and stop the fight from happening. Do you honestly think they would let the fight go ahead if Dylan White was a drugs cheat? I don't see what UCAD and the British Boxing Board of Control can do here. They have an arm behind their back. Because if they ban Dylan White now and say he was a drugs cheat, then the question will be, why did you let a drugs cheat go in and fight Oscar Rivas? Why did you allow the fight to go ahead? If you're going to ban him, if you're going to say he's a drugs cheat, if you're going to say he's on Diana Bowl or whatever the hell they think he's on, then why did you let him fight? Why was the fight allowed to go ahead? It is settled, it's sorted. Dylan White is not a drugs cheat because the hearing was had and the fight went ahead. The only thing that is on the line right now is Dylan White's reputation as a clean fighter and not a drugs cheat. And obviously the WBC situation which they never really wanted Dylan White to be mandatory anyway, did they, I don't think. To be honest, I think Dylan White is going to have to go a different route. He's never going to get a shot at the WBC world title. They just won't allow it. WBO, I mean, he's high in the rankings there, just behind Usyk. He is number one, but Usyk is mandatory. So perhaps he can go that route, and that is how he can get a world title shot. I mean, the WBC are obviously having a conspiracy here against Dylan White, because, as I said, and as Eddie Hearn said, how can they suspend him? How can they remove him as interim champion without sufficient evidence as to why they are doing so? All they done was read an article and then decided to remove Dylan White as interim champion and as mandatory. To be honest, I think what they have done here is try to cover their own backs, try and save their own skin. 
Dylan White has had this controversy surrounding him and they don't want him to be mandatory or interim champion while he has that around him. So until this is cleared up, until his name is cleared, they will not hear anything else and they will not reinstate him as mandatory challenger because they don't want to be linked to this in any way, shape or form at all. That is what the WBC's game is, I believe. But guys, what are your thoughts on this? The WBC suspending and removing Dylan White as interim champion and Eddie Hearn's comments. Drop your thoughts in the comments below, click the thumbs up and subscribe if you are new.